Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you all how you can use Ventoy to install a bunch of ISOs onto your flash drive and switch from Windows to Linux, including all the important steps, which also include the boot menu key. Now, this is personally what I got stuck with around two, yeah, around two years ago when I first installed Linux. I did not know exactly where to get started regarding what the BIOS settings were and what exactly we were supposed to do. So in this video, I will show you guys exactly how to do that. Now, to get started, let me just, there we go. Let's look for Ventoy. Once we look for Ventoy, we will find a link. Just click on the first link. Go over to downloads. From there, you want to download the Windows zip if you are on Windows. So just click on that. Scroll down, find Windows, click on that. Hit download, hit save. That will come soon enough. And there we go. Click save. Okay, once that's downloaded, we basically need to extract it. So just open it. In its folder, go ahead, right click 7-zip. I use 7-zip to extract it. You could use something else. Go in there and let's see. The file that we need is called ventoy2disk.exe. Now here I scour inside an, an, another folder, but it's supposed to open ventoy2disk. Double click. Okay, now. You're supposed to select the flash drive where you're going to install Ventoy and if you don't have any ISOs on Ventoy, you have to click on install. Right now I already have Ventoy installed so I'm going to click on update. Hit yes. Okay, that's done. Close that up. And next, we need to download the Arch Linux ISO. So head on, head on over to their website. Okay, so right here, I use the worldwide mirror, but in order to get a faster download, you can pick the mirror that is closest to your country. So for example, I would pick India because that's where I live. And for example, if you used it, lived in America or the UK, that is the mirror you'd pick from. So just save that, go to Ventoy and save the ISO right there. Instead of having to copy and paste from your downloads folder, just save it directly to Ventoy. The download has been finished and next up, we need to go on over to look up the boot menu key. Now, my machine is an HP 15S DU2040U. So just look your model number up and boot menu key. So you'll find that any one of these links should contain your answer. So click on them and scroll down. I find over here that I'm supposed to press F9 or the escape key in order to get to the boot menu. Now, I have experimented with this previously and I found out that for my computer, it is going to be the F, what was it? F10 key, yep. The play pause key, F10. So just, I need to hit restart and Go ahead. Okay, F10 now. Come on. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not good. <laughs> Anyways, well, now that we're inside the BIOS, we can go into the boot options over here. Oh, can't see it. Just do that. Okay. Now you can see it. Just go to the boot options, scroll down to UEFI, oh boy, again, man. <laughs> Just change the boot order to USB flash drive or USB hard disk. So on the right, it's given that you need to use F5 or F6 keys to move the device down or up. So let's use F6 to move that up. Save changes and exit. And I have a USB flash drive inserted right now with the ISO put on it that we downloaded on Windows. So once you hit yes, it should take us to Ventoy. 
and there we go we have ventoy up so we boot into arch linux's iso the latest one 2024 boot in normal mode <laughs> seems like we have a sort of sound that the <laughs> I so likes to make whenever I move through the options, so that's great. Click on the first option. Right there. They did this once with uh, another ISO once upon a time where uh, every single time the ISO booted up, it would present you with a Pac-Man sound. Like the sound it plays when Pac-Man first starts. It was a cool easter egg, I guess. Definitely terrified me when I first pulled up that ISO here. Not fun. <laughs> and uh, once it finishes booting up, this is the screen we get to. From here, you can either install Arch Linux the normal way, how you used to all those years ago, or you can use Arch install, which is the more modern method. It's advanced quite a lot and it's very helpful in just starting to get a system set up. Now, I've made a more in-depth tutorial about Arch install before, so I'll just show you guys the bare minimum of what you need to do. <laughs> Juggling this and typing stuff is going to be a bit slow, so bear with me here. We also need to connect to Wi-Fi, so IWCTL station WLAN 0 that's your interface by the way it might be WLO 1 for some people connect my Wi-Fi network's name is Atlantis passphrase just type that in exit ping Google just to check if it works and it does. Next, we pull up Arch install. Okay, that is it for the footage that I had. Now, all you need to do is just click on the first link in the description that will take you to my Arch install YouTube guide to install Arch Linux using that method, and you're pretty much done. You have a perfectly working Arch Linux machine switched over from Windows to Linux. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share the video with your friends, etc. I also have a rising sort of service, if you would say, on Fiverr. So in case you wanted to customize your desktop, you could click on the link, which is the second one in the description. And that's pretty much it. Yes, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.